tonight we're here at Water Tower Place for the grand opening of the Chicago Sports Museum. This idea is a long time in coming. It's brought to you by the Harry Carey's Restaurant Group. It's 8,000 square foot space of all kinds of interactive fun, and we're going to take a look now. It's going to get really crowded when Brandon Marshall gets in here. responsible for this beautiful Chicago Sports Museum and the seventh inning stretch. Tell me how this concept, what made you want to do this? Well, you know, I grew up living at the High Range Chicago and every sports team was always staying there. My dad was friends with Walter Payton and a lot of athletes and started collecting when I was a young boy. And then as, you know, I started with Harry Carey's like 26 years ago and started collecting memorabilia that way. But I always thought it would be great to do something at a very large scale, Chicago Sports Museum. But I've traveled, you know, from Cooperstown to whatever. A lot of these places are not interactive, and I thought you need a sports museum, but you make it interactive from start to finish, and that's what we did here, you know. And it really exceeded everyone's expectations. It's just it's blowing people away, I think. You buy the most unusual <laughs> thing. Tell me, tell the people what what some of the things you collect. Well, the most unusual, of course, is when I paid one hundred fourteen thousand dollars for the infamous Cubs foul ball in two thousand and three, just to blow it up. But I bought Andrew Shaw's stitches from his face here and Sam's Zip's cork bat. From Kerry, I bought a toilet seat once that was uh, in the Cubs dugout. They all signed. And, you know, so I bought some weird stuff. But I've also bought some really good stuff, like the bat that made the last out in the White Sox World Series. You know, the ball that made the last out in the Cubs World Series in 45. So I've got a lot of treasures, but I also have some infamous stuff, too. Now, did you do an interactive exhibit? Because I know your Not pal yet. Jordan did the, uh, the how high he can jump. You know, and it's supposed to be like 48 it, inches. It, it, MJ Joy could yeah. jump that high now to this day. Not right Not now. Not right now. Oh, Maybe okay, that's okay. in the day. Well, okay, well you tell me. Could he jump? Not right now he could, but probably back in the day he could probably jump that high, but not right now. So, Richard, um, don't you think it's about time we have a sports museum in Chicago? Well, it's, it's, it's about time to have one in the water tower. <laughs> so now, you know, the guys will probably want to come out and shop. They got somewhere to hang out. They can play a few games and uh, can can uh, allow me to try to, you know, sack them, see if they can do well, you know, with the virtual live, you know, yeah. uh, uh, screen, which would be a lot of fun too. Yeah. How, how was that doing, creating that virtual thing? And yours is about, like, obviously what you do best is what's acting. Yeah, chasing yeah. people. Yeah. So how did that work out to film that well, and make it happen? Let me start. Can I start chasing yeah, you right chasing now? <laughs> You, are you a sports fan? I sure am, and I was lucky enough to be uh, actually quite involved in this. Uh, I had to approve a lot of the signs downstairs, and you'll see them on the uh, for a three-month period outside. They're they're all going to be here, and uh, you know. Uh, Harry Carey was a great guy. In fact, I have a check of his that he gave to the Illinois, uh, excuse me, Illinois, the Missouri Department of Revenue in 1962, dated April 13th for, to pay his uh, state revenue taxes. Oh, good. How much did he owe? <laughs> uh, it was only about we'll 200, $232, but uh, maybe who knows how long that was for. <laughs> was known to have a vertical leap of 48 inches. That's six inches over the basketball rim. Wow. So here's my jump. <laughs> you would not believe how high I can jump, Candace. okay? They know that white guys are known for their jump. <laughs> so tonight, I'm going to put that to rest. Okay, well, All right. we, we would like to be, be there to catch That's right. that moment. It's going to be at least... I should be able to get at least this high. I think Jordan got around here. Right here, some of that. No, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be great. I actually, um, I come to Harry Carey so much that they actually know my order when I go into Kinsey. I was there the, today. Yeah, what's your order? I always get the chicken chopped salad, yeah. and I get the toasted ravioli, because you have to give a little bit of good, and then you get the bad food. Well, how do you stay so slim eating like that? Uh, running. Yeah. Run, working out. 
Yeah, and hopefully I'm not going to do any more surgeries because I did that a couple years ago. Yeah. You're looking so good in your show. Everybody loves it, of course. You're so sweet. Yeah. When are you coming back on? Well, uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Hold on. When are you coming back on? Oh, please. <laughs> I'm so used to asking the questions. It's weird when people ask me questions. I know. Give me that microphone. All right. All right bye. <laughs> I love you, Ryan. Love you, too. You have done a knockout job with this event tonight. Tell me how excited you must be. I'm exa I'm very excited and very exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so excited, so proud. It's so fun to show people and let them actually see all your hard work. And you know, we've worked really hard to get this amazing place together for the last two years. So oh boy, two years awesome. it's taken. Yeah, about two years. Yeah. And what's your favorite part of it? You know, it, it's really, the games are really, it's very interactive, so there's so many different things. So there's this game, one of my favorite games is the Richard Dent game where he comes and he sacks you. Oh. You're the quarterback and you throw footballs at targets and then he comes and sacks you. And I was just with him actually in there. No, Richard here? And yeah, and Richard, oh, okay. Richard sacked right. himself. So I thought uh -oh, that was really uh -oh, fun. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Chicago is full of great athletes and if all the athletes, you know, put some of their stuff in, it's just great to see some of the family, you know, bring some of the family here to see some of Chicago's history in sports. Yeah. What do you so think you, about the museum? Well, it's great. You know, we, uh, you know, when the deal came across our table to have uh, a piece of the pie, you know, we jumped on it. It was a great opportunity for us. You know, there's a few things that we said when we first got to Chicago. We want to be integrated in the community and uh, also in the business community. So uh, the things that Mishi's doing in fashion, the things that we're, we're that I'm doing in business is uh, it's once in a lifetime opportunities. You can't get them anywhere else besides Chicago. No. And Mishi, you're, like I said, you are a style icon. And how's your fashion collection going? And I mean, you, I know you're doing things with that. Yeah, actually, it's going really well. I'm in the process right now of um, getting the foundation together for the boutique, um, finishing up with school, got a whole lot of partnerships in the work, and some new collections coming out with um, Elise Paris and yeah. some other things. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Ernie, you're the most important thing in this museum tonight, in my opinion. Are you having a good time? Yes, it is. It's wonderful all the people to meet them and to talk to them and learn from them and most of all they're cup fans. That's right there you go. So do you have anything in the museum memorabilia wise? Yeah I do. I have some uniform, I got some bats, I got balls, I got shirts, I got a lot of things here at the museum and I'm gonna stop by to see them and they are very very excited to me. I mean, I think this is going to be a huge tourist destination. It really is. It's wonderful. Grant is a great guy. He understands people. He understands the restaurant business. And he knows what he's doing. So this affair is really remarkable. And I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah. I, I think they did a very bad job with the cork bag. <laughs> they did not have enough cork. <laughs> Tried any of the interactive exhibits yet? No, not yet. I will. Gonna check, check your uh, jump against Michael Jordan? Ah, uh, I got a bad knees. <laughs> you know what's funny thing? Because I remember Michael tried to play baseball. That when the best athlete tried to play the sport you play and he's not good enough, then I consider myself the best athlete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always support the best events, and this one is awesome, don't you think? Oh, this is awesome. I can't wait to bring my kids down here. I think they'll have a blast down here. Do you have an interactive exhibit, something that you, your hands are Yeah, I, I wish. <laughs> I wish. No, I'm, I'm just here hanging out and checking out all the cool stuff they got. That's for sure. Yeah. What have you seen that you like so far? You know what? We just walked in. We're actually just walking through. I was checking out the Michael Jordan jumping thing. And, you know, I've heard about this. Uh, you can be a goaltender and see if you can block a hockey puck. I think it's a lot easier blocking it in virtuality than it is in real life, so I'm kind of anxious to see what that looks like. Oh, awesome. Dutchie, I can't imagine how proud you must be on a night like this. You're absolutely right. I can't imagine it myself. <laughs> it is just a fabulous, fabulous tribute to Harry's legacy, and I am so proud of it. It's so beautiful. It's, it's an amazing sight, really. So let me I, ask you a question. So if you could say something to Harry uh, now on the eve, on the night of this opening, what would you say to him? 
See, I told you so. <laughs> See, it's all because of me. <laughs> when he left, there was one restaurant. Now we have six. Well, and, and, and a lot more to come, too, I hope. <laughs> uh, I, I don't you. think I have that long. <laughs> I, I think you've got a long oh, time. You don't know, baby. Right, you look <laughs> fabulous, Dutchie. 85. Thank you so much. 85. Mm -hmm. Well, almost in a couple months. I'm lying a little bit. <laughs> We're closing the evening out here in the room with all the curses, including the infamous Bartman Ball. I'm going to blow this sucker up for you, Harry Carey, on your 100th birthday. What a great place the Chicago Sports Museum is.